This is just my opinion on uh, the release, the leaked release, and the what I'm playing, the damage controlled release that is hosted on the website for Project Zomboid. Um, I had no idea this game existed, aside from a few Reddit posts. I just glanced over, never really looked in, looked much more into it, aside from the titles that I had seen. But when I saw that it got released, it piqued my interest, so I ended up buying it, or buying one of the other games on the website, and blah 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 blah, now I have it, and I've played it. It's been about a day since I first touched it, and I've been playing it probably for about three, maybe four hours total. Um, let me just say, first of all, to the developers, um, interesting game. Seriously. It's uh, definitely not um, cookie cutter. You know, you guys have something going for you, obviously, especially considering the amount of um, word of mouth this game's generating. And on the other side of that coin, uh, why did you guys decide to release it as a browser-based game? Um, the leak. I understand this is, you know, I, I got your guys' message. It's, you know, obviously it's not the final release. I get that. But do you... Did you think about how frustrating at all it is for people that have to play the game in the browser before you decided to release it this way? Um, I don't mean to source uh, Minecraft um, you know like everybody else is doing but um, it can't be that difficult to release it out you know release um, release a copy of it so you can play it on your desktop uh, but still have to log in I mean it, it, can't, it couldn't be that difficult could it if it is you know I that's fine but uh, why I'm saying this is because and partially it's my computer's fault, but um, anytime there's any intensive um, any intensive computing going on in my browser, my computer stutters, and um, it's not a bad computer by any means. Um, it's decent, and I mean I I can play um, I can play you know Crisis on the highest settings. Of course, I'm going to cite Crisis because it's the only really benchmark out there for a computer, but the only good, you know, widely known benchmark anyway. But what I, the point that I'm getting at here is that my computer freezes um, for seconds on end, and um, anytime I anytime I'm in the browser trying to play Project Zomboid, and to make things worse, um, I'm I'm trying to play it full screen like another like you know you would play a video game on your computer and uh it it's terrible because when i go into the menu when project zomboid's running i go to i go to full screen but since my computer is locking up and it's stuttering i'm i'm you know uh trying my hardest to get to the full screen button with my mouse which i can't because my computer's freezing and um my mouse doesn't work when it's freezing so i'm trying to get to the full screen and to compound it, the F11 key doesn't work with Firefox. And uh, the, my point is, is that it's extremely frustrating to play this game. Um, not to mention, there's a 10-minute intro sequence, which is just absolutely unbearable, considering the amount of uh, the amount of times you're going to die learning how to play. Um, I mean, overall, right now, I don't understand why it even got released in the first place because it's such a frustrating experience for me that I'm just, you know, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Um, if you're trying to do damage control, making it worse isn't the way to go. Um, I've played Terraria, and I played The Leak, and... Um, rather enjoyed it, didn't have any frustrations, and bought it on Steam, and it was fine. I mean, it's not, you know, he was trying to control the damage too, but um, I guess my my complaint here, or why I'm, why I'm making this in the first place, is because I'm so frustrated with trying to play this game that I'm interested in, that um, I'm 
I'm more annoyed now than I am interested in the game. And I think that's, you know, if if you if, if that's the intent here, fine. You know, if you you guys are doing a great job then. But if you're trying to if you're trying to get some people interested in the game, tr tr I don't think the the best way to go about that is making them more frustrated. And uh if I could just have a copy of the game and still have to log in, I don't care about that. But have a copy of the game on my desktop to where I don't have to constantly fuck with Firefox to get it started to the point where it's enjoyable, then, you know, I wouldn't even be making this and I wouldn't be spending the next five minutes making this recording, which I have no interest in doing to begin with, but, you know, I'm so frustrated that I feel I have to do this. Um, just having a copy on my desktop would be perfect. I wouldn't have to deal with the, f the stuttering, the issues, or anything. Um, and I don't understand why there isn't a button to reload the game when uh, you die. I mean, it, it, there's just a lot of issues with this release, and it's not a release even. It's I don't know. It's an alpha, okay? But um, why release it? That's what I don't understand. If you guys are, if you guys, if you guys are trying to make, um, trying to control the damage here, I mean, I bought the game. What you, you didn't release the game to the public, and uh, you didn't release the game to the public because you're worried about their impressions. But you're you, you're less worried about the people who bought the game. I don't. That doesn't make sense to me. So. I, I'm just I'm not making this to complain and if you guys that are listening to this don't like it then um, I'm sorry but you know there's going to be criticism obviously when you release something and um, go ahead and tell me you know it's not your game fuck off I don't care because to be honest um, the game is designed for me I'm the user it's designed as far as I understand, you're selling it to make a profit, and uh, you're trying to sell it to people like me who are playing this game and are interested in buying it. But the 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 issue that is at hand here is that I'm not enjoying it, and there are a lot of barriers that keep me from enjoying this, you know. And it's not it's not even the game; it's the um, the way the game is being delivered to me. And I've, you know, I'm far from even saying that it's just the developers that are, you know, are at fault here because I've I've seen this multiple times um, with games that have been released and uh, high-end distributors such as Ubisoft or EA Games um, release these games and this is just an alpha, so Project Zomboid, you know, th there's time to fix Project Zomboid. But I've seen this with multiple developers, such as EA or um, all these big-name developers that release a title that's not even... There's more barriers to playing the game than there are... Um, than there is actual content for, to, to play. And this is... Uh, I, don't, I just... I guess I don't understand why the developers uh, chose to release this in such a messy fashion. Um... I bought the game, and I'm not... I bought it, and I just want to play it. And I have to go into my browser to play it, which is weird. There's uh, hardly any browser games out there that are developed in JavaScript that don't let you have a copy of it on your computer. Um, I have to log in, which is fine, but I can't play it on my desktop, so, you know, it doesn't... It. I can't play it on my desktop, which is a big frustration, obviously. Um, and when I do go to play it, even in my browser, if I press, if I, if I accidentally press the back button on my mouse, then my entire game is gone. So I just basically wasted however long I've been playing. Um, and I can't skip through when I, when I have to constantly replay because I've died, um, so many times, which, you know, it's an, it's an element of the game, obviously. I guess the whole point that they're going for is that the whole point the developers are trying to get across with this is that you're going to die and it's just, you know, it's inevitable. That's how the story goes. So if that's part of the game, why why do I have to sit through the same um, tutorial and opening sequence that takes 15 minutes just to get started? 
I mean, I, I could obviously run off, but, um, you know, even then when you're away from the uh, sequence, you know, the, the, the stuff is still happening. I'm talking to thin air when I'm a mile away from my wife or my in-game wife. And um, it's just frustrating to play this game. And it's an alpha, you know, I, I keep saying this because I know it's going to be a big point for whoever's going to criticize what I'm saying here because they don't like the fact that there is criticism for a game that they feel has a future, apparently. But um, the point is, right now, it's an alpha, and you're releasing something to the people that paid for it that's annoying more than fun. So um, I just... I guess I'm, I'm, I'm recording this to hopefully um, give the developers a... a, a I guess a viewpoint from the user and just, I guess, extend my frustration with the fact that I spent money on something that's, you know, in its current state, annoying as hell to play.